I'm here with Mia Klase and <laughs> Lina, Matt B. Aurel. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here to talk about uh, food pharmacy. Yeah. Yes. You decided to write uh, a blog. Yes. Why did you do that? Um, so basically from the beginning we are uh, uh, friends from the childhood and uh, we, cho we chose two different careers. I, I was working <coughs> with trade promotion and Mia was working as a copywriter. But the older we got, the more we were interested in health issues. And sadly enough, three very important women in our, um, in our surrounding, they passed away uh, within the same year. And they were all around 60 years old and passed away in cancer. Mm -hmm. So that made us think, what can we sell? What can we do ourselves to influence our health in a good way? Yeah. Um, so this was the starting point. We sat and we talked a lot, and we had small children at home, and we really wanted to, you know, give them the best food. Mm -hmm. And then Mia's father. And then we ran into the yeah. professor. <laughs> yeah. What professor? Stig Bengmark is yeah. his name. <clears throat> so he has, uh, uh, I don't know how to say his uh, title. Title in English. What is it? It's now he is a professor at the London University, but yeah. before he worked as a as surgery, yeah. and uh, he did uh, like very um, vast surgeries, uh, transplanting uh, organs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're ready. But, he, but is he um, is he his field? Is it cancer as well? Is he no, uh, no, no. He he was. Uh, clinical uh, uh, head of the uh, Lund University Hospital. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. But his field is, <coughs> to simplify everything, mm -hmm. is almost all diseases. Okay. Because he's very much into the gut flora mm -hmm. and uh, anti-inflammatory diet. Yes. And uh, from his point of view, uh, the inflammation in the body mm -hmm. is the uh, mother of all diseases. Yes. all chronic diseases. Because th this was your issue, you wanted to find a solution and you, you wanted to gather knowledge yeah. about how to use food yeah. as pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. he's very into what you, what you put in your mouth and how mm -hmm. to make it, uh, uh, stay, uh, how to stay uh, yes. uh, sober. I almost yeah. said sober, I didn't mean sober. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> How to stay what what do you call it? it stay well. Yeah. Stay well. Stay well. So um so I, just, I, I have to ask you. So since you started this uh, journey, mm. this uh, health uh, journey, mm. are you um, do you feel better yourself? Yeah, we do. You do? Yeah, we do. Definitely. <coughs> we started like so two what is years the, ago. what is the difference? How was it uh, before and what is it like now and we were much more we were tired. Yes. And uh, we were sick, uh, living in Sweden during winter time. Yeah, I it's mean, a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. You Believe get me. sick yeah. like ten times every winter. And, uh, Especially when you have kids. Yeah. yeah. But that is history in our case. Really? Yeah. Yes. So um, how did you... Um, tell me a little bit about uh, the journey. How did you start? How did you change uh, your lifestyle with food? Uh, it uh, has taken us uh, more than two years mm -hmm. <coughs> and we're not even close to yeah. where we will be in ten years, I yeah. guess. But um, <coughs> the journey started with uh, Stig, the professor, mm -hmm. had a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. and we had <laughs> absolutely no, no knowledge at all. But we had the um, possibility to reach out to people and to translate uh, his uh, his language to uh, to simplify it and mm -hmm. make it more more easy to people to understand um, all his knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we started to write. Uh, he he had a problem to reaching out to a to a broader um, public. So that was what we did. We translated mm -hmm. it to like easier Swedish. <laughs> so how co how come you had this um, this audience and this reach already? We, we didn't question. have. No. The thing is that uh, when when Stig told us what he did about food and how we could influence our health by choosing what to eat, 
we were amazed and we thought that okay but if this is true we really need to know more but we also know that there are many people out there who would like to have this knowledge but they like us don't read medical journals so Stig was actually um, publishing articles in medical journal, mm -hmm. journals where mm -hmm. normal people like us don't mm -hmm. find this information mm -hmm. so we said okay we will translate this to uh, to ordinary people because we know there might be uh, people like us who are, who are interested mm -hmm. but we couldn't uh, imagine that the interest would be so big as it was mm -hmm. I mean it's a huge uh, interest mm -hmm. I mean we are here mm -hmm. right now our location mm -hmm. is uh, Salto Kvarn yeah. in Malm, mm -hmm. and this is also a health uh, another health uh, concept yeah. actually ecological Everything is organic. Uh, ecological, organic, yeah, exactly. Mm. I don't know, um, but I, I do believe that Sweden is um, a little bit extraordinary. People want to eat clean food and uh, mm. especially people with kids um, mm. only want to buy ecologic food. Mm. So, I mean, it's, uh, didn't you uh, think that this would be a um, success? When we started the blog, uh, our main issue was to um, to learn our, ourselves mm -hmm. primarily it was so when we were contacted by a publisher very soon like three months after we started the blog we were mm -hmm. contacted by a publisher we asked them if we wanted to write the book but mm -hmm. then we said write the book no no mm -hmm. we, we we're not need ready to learn. for that we're not ready mm -hmm. we have to um, read at mm -hmm. least 1000 books before <laughs> mm -hmm. so I think that um, it, uh, these meetings have been very valuable to us because they have made us understand that even though we are normal people mm. lacking uh, medical education mm. uh, still other people find it interesting just to share our thoughts and, and our journey. Yeah, so and in the beginning we had absolutely no clue that we were going to end up in the gut flora. Mm. I mean, we are writing about bacteria mm. and how you eat to uh, make your bacteria feel better and grow bigger and mm. became, become um, uh, yeah, stronger. So, um, so we had no clue yeah. about that. But to be concrete, mm. what do you eat for breakfast? We don't eat breakfast. You don't eat breakfast? <laughs> we skip breakfast. Why? Because because of health reason? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, from what I learned, this is, I am uh, totally surprised right now. This is what we've learned as well, and I yeah, think yeah. this goes for, for everyone. Mm. We've been taught that breakfast is your most important meal, and, uh, and it could be, uh, mm. but uh, to us it's not that we shouldn't eat, have breakfast. We could have breakfast, but then we try to have the last meal of the day mm -hmm. quite early. And mm -hmm. the reason is that um, we don't do this every day, but we do it uh, three times a week. Three times a week. Mm -hmm. we, we let the body, uh, the organs rest. Mm -hmm. Because every time you put something in your mouth, the organs have to work. and uh, and. Uh, research and studies shows that uh, it's good you, you get a lot of health benefit from doing a daily fast mm -hmm. daily fasting mm -hmm. and I don't know if you know about 5-2 diet yes. so 5-2 mm. diet <coughs> is actually um, a version mm -hmm. of this peri uh, daily fasting okay because uh, quickly you realize that people won't be able to do this every day because you have a life, you have children, mm -hmm. you are having dinners with friends. So then, then they launched a work version of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we do it uh, three days a week. Mm -hmm. We are quite and bohemian, so we do it. We, we haven't uh, chosen uh, days. It's <coughs> like, okay, tomorrow I have nothing when we have special. Time, yeah. Then we start with lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, and it's, mm -hmm. it's so three days a week. You don't yeah. have breakfast at but all. But it's not it's not exactly three days. A week. Sometimes, sometimes it's five, seven days a week. Sometimes yeah. it's one. It's not not nothing. So. But uh, so what do you say actually? And, and we yeah. don't call each other every morning and decide whether it's a non-fasting or fasting day either. No. <laughs> so you mean honestly, <laughs> breakfast is not good. It's not that breakfast is not good. The, the point is, it doesn't matter if you have breakfast, lunch, dinner. The thing is that if if the, uh, one day and night is 24 hours, mm -hmm. 
and you should um, during this uh, time of fasting mm -hmm. you should um, have a small window yeah. where you eat the window uh, when you eat should be less amount of time than when you not eat when you let the body rest mm -hmm. so to say if you if you say okay i'll eat during eight hours mm -hmm. but then i let my organs rest during 16 hours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you can choose. Some some choose to start with breakfast, mm -hmm. but uh, and they don't most eat anything common, after. No. Yeah, most common is okay. Yeah. So that's the uh, <coughs> number one rule. So, so uh, to make the don't eat for 16 hours. Yeah, let yeah. the organs rest. More it's like yeah. a daily fasting. Mm -hmm. um, don't eat for 16 hours. <laughs> Not eat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first. Yeah, but uh, honestly, I, I have no idea about no, this. No, we neither. Mm. So, um, <coughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, and you think it's hard, but when you try it, you find that often you're not hungry. It's just a habit because I'm a small eater, or what yes. is called in English. I always, if there is something, I always yeah. take. I've always done all my life. I like that as and well. And so many horrible. people. Uh, learn, uh, I, I was teached that it's um, it's good to eat yeah. mm -hmm. like every uh, uh, second third or third yeah. hour mm. yeah. because yeah but this uh, this isn't that school mm. no but I think this is so so much about lifestyle and mm. habits mm. and uh, things that you learn mm. Mm. yeah so you just need to learn something new mm. okay so um, okay what more but otherwise when yeah. we do have breakfast yeah. Uh, like today we had breakfast mm. and then we both had uh, overnight oats yeah. with uh, fruits, fresh fruits mm -hmm. and, and coffee. Mm -hmm. But do you eat, um, do you eat milk products? Uh, we, no, based, no, no we not, but I mean I'm this not was the based on, This was based on coconut milk yeah. or maybe um, um, oat milk. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do you um, exclude from what people eat, according to our uh, I tradition in Sweden? I haven't eaten, been eating meat since I was 15. No meat? No meat, but uh, according to Stig, mm -hmm. you can eat uh, uh, meat still, as mm -hmm. long as it's uh, good meat, like uh, organic, mm -hmm. do you call it like good meat, yeah. good quality, and you don't uh, eat too much meat. Okay, so like once a week or? He says like 300 uh, gram a week, gram a week. Mm -hmm. and it can still be good for us yeah because it's uh, iron and good things in, in meat as well as long as you're picky when you're mm -hmm. choosing your meat and mm -hmm. as long as you're picky, picky while uh, cooking your meat yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, not to grill or not to deep roast. fry no. <laughs> so um yeah, talking about that raw food mm -hmm. is that um, something yeah, we eat a lot of raw food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, and that the reason for that is that uh, the microbiome, the mm -hmm. your gut flora, mm -hmm. um, the bacteria, the good bacteria in your gut flora, they mm -hmm. uh, they basically live from raw uh, vegetables okay. because they contain fibers mm -hmm. and they grow with. Uh, the help of fibers. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we increased uh, our uh, diet with a lot of uh, vegetables. vegetables. Vegetables, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, concrete, a good lunch tip. Food pharmacy Could lunch be a soup. Yeah. Yeah. But that's warm. Yeah, yeah, but you can eat uh, like yeah. lukewarm soup. You don't yeah. have to uh, uh, let it cook for two hours. No. I mean, you can make a, a very nice soup raw mm -hmm. in your blender and then you can like uh, a garbanzo? Uh, yeah for, for example but mm -hmm. you can make yeah, a but that's cold and that's mm -hmm. good. yeah you can make a uh, you can make a soup in your blender mm -hmm. with a lot of uh, different veggies and then you can put it on the oven and like uh, make it lukewarm yes. Because, uh, I mean, like we said, now it's uh, autumn, it's October. Yeah. <coughs> or you can have a cup of tea with your, with yes. your uh, cold soup. Mm -hmm. But we also have a, a concept, because both of us like, really like warm food. Mm -hmm. So we have a concept we created, which is called half half. Mm -hmm. And when you make, for example, soup, or that could be for any dish, you make uh, one part of the dish 
warm mm -hmm. and you add a lot of uh, raw vegetables and yeah, like we, our lentil soup yeah mm. and we we uh, like to think about what we should add rather than what we shouldn't e exclude. have okay. exclude. Mm -hmm. so uh, so uh, the most important thing to us is uh, except from excluding sugar it's to add a lot of vegetables mm -hmm. in different colors mm -hmm. and uh, to every meal so mm -hmm. let them every meal be based on vegetables so uh, thank you so much for uh, having this uh, joining um, tell your story yeah food thank pharmacy you. thank you um, you have your beautiful book here yes it's, uh, actually one of the most beautiful books uh, the cover oh thank that you. i ever saw mm -hmm. thank you maybe we should put it a little bit closer mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful book, mm. Food Pharmacy. <laughs> so it's going to be translated to uh, English? English. We have an American uh, publishing uh, publisher. Yeah? Mm. We're very happy well, la, so you're happy going about international yeah. <laughs> with your concept. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, what, is your, what is your goal with this? <laughs> <laughs> to to, to change the eating habits uh, all over the world. To be honest, I guess it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the meeting with Stig yeah. resulted in two things. Mm -hmm. The first thing was that we started the blog, which led to a book. But uh, it was that we shared the information that he has from from a long life as a researcher. Yes. The second uh, thing that happened when we met Stig is that first he taught us that the microbiome is so important mm -hmm. and you have good bacteria and you have bad bacteria and you have to feed your good bacteria so mm -hmm. they get strong and you uh, and they defend you from diseases mm -hmm. then he told us uh, like in a by sentence that he himself had uh, four patents on protected four bacteria four bacteria strains uh, that he had done a lot of research on for the last 15 years mm -hmm. and he told us about the very good results from the, these research and uh, and that the bacteria are anti-inflammatory so then we looked at each other and we said but Stig we really want to eat this mm -hmm. where can we buy it and he said you cannot buy it it's only it's only for uh, clinical studies so it's only for very sick people who takes part in clinical studies and then we said but but you know you have to share this with the world because we want to eat it we want to give it to our parents grandparents parents children friends and then he was like hmm yeah and then uh, it took a while to uh, to convince him to uh, to make it available for the market but now it is and we launched it in August this yeah. year okay high five <laughs> high five <laughs> <laughs> but how great is that I mean so nice yeah so great what um what a job you have done mm -hmm. yeah it's thank amazing you. <laughs> and I mean, honestly it's amazing yeah it's um you should really really be proud mm -hmm. and I would really like to try this um, symbiotica yeah you will. Is it you available? Will. When when will it's it be? It's available yes. now. It's where can uh, where? <laughs> you can go to the website. Yes. You can go to our blog, which is mm -hmm. foodpharmacy.se, and you can click that you're interested in buying uh, Professor Fengmark's symbiotic, and then mm -hmm. you come to the the site where mm. you can buy it, or you go directly to the site where you buy it, which is supersymbiotics.se. Okay. So, um, so what you mean actually is, if you eat this symbiotic, this um, this pill, mm -hmm. then you will get the right. It's a powder. Uh, it's a powder. Powder with fibers. Yeah. So then you will get the right uh, gut flora. Gut flora. It no. strengthens your yes. your uh, bacteria. immune system yeah, and exactly. your your body and, mm -hmm. all and right. it's very anti-inflammatory. And uh, did you? How long did you eat this one for yourself? I guess you have tried it. Yes, of course. Yeah, so we're giving it. Summer. We're so giving it to the whole family. family. Okay. Mm. So did you notice any change in how you feel since you started eating? The the thing is with uh, inflammation, and it's so hard to discover because uh, often the symptoms are very vague. Mm -hmm. and, and the sim symptoms, even though they are vague, what is it? 
uh, what do you mean? Of, um, the symptoms. Yeah, of having inflammation, low. Uh, inflammation. It's a long it list. Could be everything yeah, it's a very from long being scary very list. tired or uh, mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. headache or having uh, uh, like mm -hmm. dry mouth. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Many like things. small small symptoms that most of us are are uh, you being used to and are natural to have yeah as well yeah, we think, has at to, least yeah. we think they are natural to have yeah. the question is whether they are natural Maybe they or are not, not. Mm. so you are not never tired anymore yeah well, yes, of, course of course we are because that's natural yeah. you become yeah. tired but you if you work tired, too much, <laughs> if you yeah, if you life sleep. is uh, yeah. stress, uh, yeah. stressful. Yeah. That's, that's it. It but is. you but shouldn't go up in the morning and feel tired, and that's mm -hmm. the case for many people today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That you feel tired all 24 the day. 7. Of mm. course, you should be tired when you go to bed in the night. Yeah, that's natural. not when you wake up. No. Not when you wake up. Yeah. Or in the middle of the day. Or, you know. yeah. So. Um, so this is uh, this is uh, boosting for the immune system, also in the long in the long run. Mm -hmm. Because if you have inflammation for many years of your life, it could develop to chronic diseases, cancer, yeah, all heart uh, diseases, yeah, Alzheimer's. All, all our chronic diseases have one common factor, and that's inflammation. Mm -hmm. They have different reasons, many, many, many different reasons, but they have one thing in common, mm -hmm. and that's inflammation. So this is what we have to fight, uh, the inflammation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>